Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video has been sitting for a little over a week or so because I wasn't sure I wanted to deal with all the YouTube experts about how I'm using a grinder or safety equipment or whatever dig a keyboard warrior is into these days. Now I've previewed this video to a couple of people and they assure me that the content has value and is worth showing. So here you go. What I want to show you with this video is how the compliant and adaptive grip of this version of my hand is working out in a real life industrial environment. While watching me de-slag parts cut out on my plasma cutter, check out how I'm able to comfortably and confidently grasp the grinder with my prosthetic as I reorient the parts. It's been quite a long time since I've had this level of proprioception with my left hand, and with my continued use of this new device, I'm finding more and more applications that I can once again perform. I hope that by continuing to show my progress and innovations in the design of my prosthetic hands, and demonstrating what a machinist working out of a reasonably equipped machine shop in nowhere Southern Oregon can do, that somehow I'll be able to affect what the major recognized providers will choose to bring to market and better meet the needs and desires of fellow amputees. Hopefully my work is also inspiring others to take it upon themselves to also design prosthetic devices that are more in line with their individual needs. Hopefully it's working, because in my opinion what's currently available is slow to articulate, less than reliable, and easily broken when used in everyday activities. Over the last couple of years, I've attempted to contact and collaborate with just about all the major prosthetics manufacturers and offer my real-world experiences to better their offerings. But sadly I've found that there really isn't any incentive for them to change what's currently offered in the marketplace. They have their 510k certificate from the FDA, it's covered by most insurances and Medicare, and they figure that it's good enough. Sure, the fingers break pretty easily during normal use, but that generates warranty repair work, and after a couple of years of daily use, insurance will usually kick down for a new model of the same old thing, propagating the cycle once again. I've come to the conclusion that any advancement is going to need to come from the side of the end user, and not the other way around. After all, the only person that really knows or cares how well your prosthetic device is working out for you is you. It goes back to the old adage of if you want something done right, do it yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching.